Hey guys, so today we'll be solving a problem which appeared in a in a contest. Um, sounds pretty fun. Uh, this problem can be solved easily by using dynamic programming. Um, so let's see the problem. Um, I'm not going to read that the whole question by myself as I read before. You can have a look and read um, this question. So the question is saying that um, you have think about like pretty easily like if a taxi cab driver he's driving you have n number of station which is here in our case n equals to five so n number of station now you have rights so what is the ride right means that someone um, you have to pick up from station number two drop at station number five if you take that they will give you a tip four dollar so by using this ride how much you can earn is end minus start plus tip that means five minus two plus four based on this question this much dollar so if you finish this ride you can earn five minus two three plus four seven dollar and then if you finish this ride you can make five minus one four plus one five dollar but the fact is that you have to maximize your earning right you might have multiple rides um, you have to maximize maximize your earnings and at the same time you cannot take two passengers at the same time so like in this case here that you take a passengers um let's it's this one o'clock you take a passengers from station number one and dropping at five that means that you cannot take these passengers because he will start from station two but at the time you had a passengers so basically you have to find all the ways that how you can maximize your profit all right so let's um, do some brainstorming what is happening here so the approach i have taken for um, dynamic programming i take a bottom-up approach so in that bottom-up approach i ask myself that okay if i'm at the zeroth station how much money i can earn is there any passengers um will be like when when i get the money when a passengers stopped or like i finished the ride that's when i make the money so that was my strategy so if i'm at the zeroth station did i make any ride no so my earning must be zero what about when i'm at the station one is there any ride i can finish that started from zero to one no nobody is going to uh, station one so still zero what about two still zero what about three still zero what about four zero when i am at the fifth now i have two options one options that i could take a passengers from starting location one and drop at five and i can make five dollar okay so i could make i have option to make five dollar and i have another option that the passenger was at the second station i could pick him or her and drop at fifth station i could make seventh dollar so i have to find all the passengers who will come to that particular station and then finding the earning that how much money i can make i clearly see that the maximum is seven and another fact is that if i take this passenger from um, station number two and drop at five like from here to here look at that what was before or up to this point how much money i earned right i could earn money there could have a passengers from starting from one to starting from two um, if i add one more example here that let's say starting from one drop at two and then probably um, he gives a tip one dollar right so if this is the case what could happen in that case probably from one to two when i was here i could make some money which was like two dollar i could make two dollar here so the two dollar plus seven dollar could have been nine dollar and those will be changed right so um, let's draw that again to figure it out for the new use case we have this is a fun example right the similar way station zero station one station two three four and five okay so this is a station zero station one station two station three station four and station five okay so our new input i just added one extra input let's start um, brainstorming again in the zero station there is nobody came here so zero is there anybody came to station one i don't see anybody so it has to be zero 
in the station two is there anybody i could drop at station two yes there was one passenger this passenger i could drop at the station number two if i drop how much money i could make two minus one is one plus one which i could make two dollar that's the maximum there is no other options what about station number three is there anybody is coming um, there no but if even there is nobody i already earned in the up to the station number two two dollar so that means my earning will be the same what about four there is nobody is coming so my earning will be the same now what about fifth fifth location after coming i see multiple options there is this data and this data which is fine these two right but if i don't take any ride to drop at fifth station i will not make any more money right so i will have only two dollar now think about okay well what about if i take this ride who started from second station come to the fifth station so five minus two plus three which is seven right so seven but this guy started from here right here to here but up to the the passenger i took and drop at station number two i already made two dollar so that means my two dollar in my pocket and these passengers give me seven dollar in that case my earning will be nine dollar right so the maximum of two plus nine both of these max will be nine because this is the maximum money i could make right okay one more is what about if instead of this passenger i could take this passenger what will happen he started from one station one to five right how much money i can make five minus one four plus one five only five dollar of course the maximum of two and five is five and then five and nine uh, maximum is nine so i maximum amount of money i could make nine dollar so if i just fill up this table my problem will be solved if i start from here and slowly uh, move up right each time i will see that how many passenger i have the options to drop here and i will go back where they started from how much money in that starting point i make so um, simple as that right so basically the formula is that i have to find the max i have to find the max max of what max is if i don't take anybody right no right first of all if i take no right how much money i will make if i take a right in that case how much will be all of the right side right so max of all rights okay right e e s max of all rights okay now for each of this right what we could do how can we make the uh, compute that right is easy right um so the earning at the start so that's the earning earning at a start plus uh, sorry uh, earning at start start earning at a start plus that right earning what is the right earning and minus start plus tip right so simple as that so let's do this okay now we can go back to the code uh, and we can do that so each time it looks like um, i already have few example and the result and here is the function we will implement so each time we want to know that how many options how many passengers i have that will uh, be dropped at the station number whatever the station number is so in that case if we want to know how many options we have we could probably use a map integer and then list because i could have multiple right and then each of this right is represented by an array so i'll say map new hash map right so i will go integer array this is my right out of rights and then map dot compute now write the i need to know that how many passenger options i have how many ride options i have on these location that journey will be ended so the journey will be ended which is defined by ride of 
1 because 0 is the start and 1 position is end and the next is deep. So in Java, you could do that. If b is equal equal null, you can return a new array list or else you just return b, whatever the data is and add. You just add that right. So what it will do basically, it will give you key will be your ending or like wherever the stopping station and the list of right you have that options easy and now we need another dp table um, or we can cache whatever we name it um, i prefer to name it as a cache it's an integer array new integer array um, since it's returning long that use long would be a better choice so let's give long and how many what will be the size because we have n station since we are working with zeroth position we'll say n plus one okay cool. now we'll try to fill up the table we draw right less than equal to n let's fill up that okay um so what is this i define i is the the station you are currently you are asking that how many passenger is coming to this station so we are asking how many ride options i have at this station okay so map dot get you just give i okay so what it will return it will give you all the option which is nothing but a list right list of integer array those are the rights right so you can even say passengers passengers option you had okay now what happened if like for our zeroth location there could have a uh, situation that on that specific station there was nobody uh, will be stopped so in that case what is happening it's happening that passengers is equal equal null if there is nobody what you do you just continue right um what else what you could do um other option is if there is no passengers or anything what exactly happened we just take the previous value that in the previous station how much i earn there's the same amount of money will i will have in my pocket right so now cash of i equals to cash cash of i minus one so meaning that whatever my earning earning was in previous station would be same would be same right okay cool continue and then now if i had multiple passenger options how much money i can make so let's go to that each of these passengers i will say integer passengers as a p and then passengers but each of this passenger is an array. What is the have? They have a start location, end location, and the tips. So let's do that. Um, integer start, which is nothing but p of zero. Integer end, where they will um, stop the ride, which is p of one. And then integer, I'm just doing it to make it more easier and readable. Um, it could be like in one line but just making it clear to understand okay so these passengers will start here and here and this much tip will give and we know that how much earning we can make right how much earning we can make from here easy earning is end minus start plus tip so this much i can earn for this trip okay now what we could do that for our maximum profit right cash we have to update that cash of i map dot max so whatever the earning if i didn't take anybody was like this and then my earning earning plus what that for this is starting to ending here this is my earning but before this is starting, what was my earning? That was even easier, cash of start. That's it. So that table is filled up. Now what are we going to return? 
return cash of n that should be my earning okay looks good oh sorry uh, it should be returning here so it's good okay cool so let's run it see that okay so there is an issue what is that issue here cash because when you start from zeroth location there was nothing so you should start from station one okay what happened here okay that sounds right cool um we could probably um try our another simple example so let's do that So this is another one. Oh, let's print it out. Okay, so I'm going to delete those. Right. Okay. So there was a passenger starting from two at five, and then tip was four. There was another one was starting from one, came to five, and tip was one, and there was another passengers. Starting from one to two, t plus one. So let's see how much money we can make from this one. Nine. So if you see our exercise, that was the earning, right? Nine for this example. So thank you. Hope that works.